And I've said every I've said every single month in the last 22 years, I said, if people don't want me to talk, I'm done. I'm done. I've done all I can do. Well, guess what? People want me to talk. They keep inviting me. I, I was invited to the University of Toronto. I went there. I was invited to Spain. I talked there. Private. These are private lectures. These are not public. This isn't a conference. Guess who invited me in in 2013? I got a written invitation from the Pope to come wow. to the Vatican from Pope Francis himself. I went. My team went. We spent a total of five days in the Vatican, sleeping in their quarters talking to the Pope every day. And the biggest question Pope Francis said, and I I can't understate this, or over, I should overstate it, is he said, Jonathan, what can we do for them? Now, you know, I've heard all the political prattling about the Catholic Church and the Vatican and all that, but I'll tell you, the man himself is genuine. He is intelligent, he is warm, he is the real deal. He wanted to know what I knew. He spent days listening to me. Right. And I thought, you know, I, I just thought, I can't, you know, I'm going to bore him. I'm going to bore <laughs> His aides kept saying, no, he wants to know more. He wants to know more. And when I left, I told, he, says, he said, you know, Jonathan, he has a great sense of humor. He says, you know, I can make you Catholic. You know, he says, I can get you in. And I said, you know, sir, thank you very much. I, I said, I, I'm comfortable at this moment. But I said, I really like your little cookies, you know, <laughs> little wafers. When I left, they gave me a box with a great big beautiful red bow of those wafers. But that's what I'm saying, Brian. People yep. are very genuine when they want to know, when they want to listen. 